Shalom everyone. Allow me to start with praying for our dear brothers and sisters and all peace loving people in Ukraine. The sights are unbelievable. It brings up images of very dark times in history. And just thinking of the loss of life and the senselessness of it all is devastating. So brothers and sisters, at this challenging time, we ask Hashem to watch over His people. May this war end quickly. Amen. May we merit to live in a time where war is wiped off the face of the earth and tears are wiped off all faces. Amen. So friends, the opposite of war and taking from others is giving. And so today I'd like to talk to you about giving. This week we read a special portion of the Torah from Mafter called Shkalim. In it we read about the obligation to give, to donate, each and every one of us. And the word the Torah uses for giving is vinatnu, which reads back and forth the same way in English. That's what's called a palindrome. And our sages interpret this biblical palindrome as a promise from God. Be assured, God says, that if you step forward generously to give, it will come back to you. Elef pa'amim kacha, a thousandfold. What goes around, comes around in a good way. You see, we often see giving as there being a giver and a receiver. It's not like that. The giver receives as much, if not more, than what he or she gives. And I'm not only talking about financial resources, of which God says clearly in the Torah, that if you give charity, it brings wealth. Aser shvil shetit asher. It's more than that. When you give, you feel awesome. The greatest happiness in the world comes from giving. Sometimes we make the mistake to think that getting is more fun. Getting gifts, money, great deals. It's all sweet and nice. But genuine happiness comes through giving. It might sound like a simple idea, but it's life-changing. If your life is lacking in joy, simcha, then there's a sure recipe to get it back. Volunteer, give, share, visit the elderly or sick, call someone that needs a listening ear, and now more than ever, that call is needed. Lift them up. It's a privilege to give. It's a privilege to have value that you could offer others. No, it's not a burden or an act of guilt. It's one of the greatest opportunities we have. So friends, listen to this. When you're asked to give, and you're about to make that face which says, oh no, not again. He or she is calling me again. Really? Think again. You are blessed to be in this position. Remember what Rabbi Fischl said, you are blessed to be in the position to give. Circling back to Ukraine, and we think of all the loss of life, possessions, and histories, let's do something to give. Whether donating to organization, helping in Ukraine, there's many organizations, or by doing good on this side of the world, we're all interconnected. So in this time of darkness, let's add acts of goodness and kindness. The world can use a lot of it. On behalf of Rebetz and Eti, Mendel, Yitzi, Chaya, and Hinda, a Shabbat Shalom, Shabbos of Peace.